Ah, yes, to be in love. It strikes old and young and seems to overcome all obstacles. And when it strikes the very young, it seems to be in its purest form, untainted by the complexities that come later in life. So it was with Emily and Matthew, a sweet, caring heart shared by both, a friendship that is beyond just being a friend. But alas, that love seems to have reached an unplanned end when Matthew moved far to the other side of town. I can't believe he's gone. Well out of reach of a walk or a bicycle ride. Emily was quite sad. No longer could she see him. Wait, I have an idea. I know exactly how I can see Matthew again. Daddy. No longer could they play together. Daddy. No longer could they help each other with homework. Hey, Daddy, guess what? I have an idea. I don't want to miss you at Christmas. I'm missing you all the time. I've got an idea. I know it will work. I know it will work just fine. I'm sending me from my home to yours I'll say hello and give you a hug as soon as you open the door I'll be yours forever yes I'll be yours forever I'll be yours forever forever more Christmas I'm leaving Valentine I'm sending me in a big box and all you have to do is sign I'll be there at Christmas can't wait for Valentine's ride our bikes and do homework and have some silly Dad was a UPS delivery driver, and he could certainly make it happen, she thought. Sorry, Emily, he said. UPS doesn't deliver people, even cute little girls like you. But we can still surprise Matthew. I can drive you to his house in my truck, and you can climb into a box, and I will deliver it, unofficially, of course. Emily's eyes brightened because it sounded like fun and she really wanted to see her best friend again. So off went Emily and her dad in the big UPS truck. And when they got to Matthew's house, Emily climbed into a nice box just the right size, and her dad taped it shut. Emily finds an air hole and wiggles a finger through it at her dad and giggles. Of course, Emily's dad had called Matthew's mom in advance to let her know what was happening. So she had Matthew answer the door when the UPS truck arrived. Matthew was so surprised when the UPS guy said that he had a great big package for Matthew. Sign here, the UPS man said to Matthew. Still in disbelief, Matthew signed and then started to open the box, with his mother standing by with a big smile on her face, knowing what was about to happen. The last of the tape was removed from the box, and out popped Emily with a smile that went from ear to ear as she shouted, Matthew, I'm here. I love you. Matthew jumped up and down in surprise. I can't believe it. What a surprise. I am happy to see you. 
So off they both went to play in the yard, running and laughing full of joy. It seemed all too soon that it was time for Emily to go home. This time, her mom picked her up. No UPS this time. The goodbyes were sad, but they both knew that they could still visit from time to time. Distance was no longer an obstacle to love. Meanwhile, Emily's dad was finishing up his deliveries, and all through his route Emily's song stuck in his head. And as he headed home, he started to sing, remembering the happy smile on Emily's face as she first sang it to him. I don't want to miss you at Christmas I'm missing you all the time got an idea. I know it will work. I know it will work just fine. I'm sending me by UPS straight from my home to yours. I'll say hi and give you a hug as soon as you open the door. Then I'll be yours. Yes, I'll be yours forever I'll be yours forever Forever more I'll UPS me at Christmas Or even Valentine's I'm sending me in a big box and all you have to do is sign I'll be there at Christmas I can't wait for Valentine's We'll ride our bikes and do homework And have some silly times So I'm on my way by UPS On my way today I'm sending me in a big box And all you have to do is sign Then I'll be yours forever Yes, I'll be yours forever I'll be 